What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're back at Copart in Oklahoma City for another walk around. So let's jump into it. And the first one I found for you guys is a 2012 Genesis. Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, it, it, okay. I'm gonna try to be nice, but I don't see anything wrong with it. So I'm wondering if it could possibly be totaled because of the cosmetic alterations that were done to the car. I don't know about you, but this looks, this, they, they destroyed it. It was a good looking car. It really was. It still could be, but in case you haven't seen all of the tasteful changes they got made to this beautiful ride, well, let's start pointing them out. We've got some type of a headlight tint that has gotten so hot that it has bubbled and blistered literally everywhere. It looks, it looks absolutely awful. Then somebody came in with some paint and blacked out everything. Like everything down here got blacked out and it's, it's very badly painted. All right. Same thing with this headlight. And then you've got that same black paint all through here. All of this. It's a, it's actually a rubberized coating. All of this chrome, somebody tried to do something with it and it went really, really wrong. This, they did the same thing with that too. And it's painted black now. That's really nice. They did the, the window strip really big. They went, they went a third of the way down the windshield with the tent. Super dark window tent as well, man. And then on the back, well, they, they tried to make it look classy, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't look good is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's a little on the gnarly side back here. It doesn't smell great, but again, compared to the Impala full of dead flies and I'm sure something else was dead in there. Not bad, not too bad. The driver's seat is like all the way back and behind the B pillar. That's pretty common. Ugh. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't smell good, but it's, I've smelled worse. It looks like some water got in here at some point and things got, things got a little on the wet side. I don't see a key. I'm hoping there's a key in here somewhere. No, I don't think there is. And somebody's been back here screwing around too. Somebody's been in there messing around. There are, uh, <laughs> you already knew this is gonna happen, right? Take a look in there. Yep, you know what that is, right? There's, uh, yeah, there's some roaches left in there, guys. So, somebody was having themselves a, a little party. Yeah, I see no keys anywhere. Well, that's all right. Somebody's been in here too. They've taken all this stuff apart. Maybe there's a key over here. Let's take a peek. Nope, but there's a lot of pills. Those are probably ibuprofens. Let's pop the hood. And uh, take a look at this, in case y'all didn't know. This is an R-Spec. All right, R-Spec. I'm assuming that means race spec. So this is a race car. It, just in case you didn't know. Now you know. All right, let's let's take a peek under the hood. Uh, somebody's been under here too, messing around, haven't they? So this is not where it's supposed to be. Something got under here and ate. <laughs> That's a rodent right there. Something's been under here and it was eating the foam. That is so common. These cars go to these holding lots for, including Copart. Copart's one of them. It's another holding lot that they set it. But the insurance company sends it to the body shop. Body shop, when they're done with them, if the insurance company doesn't pick them up promptly, they'll put them back in a yard and they'll just sit there. So these things can sit in holding lot after holding lot for months, sometimes even years. And obviously you get rodents. Oh, wow. Somebody's been in here splicing wires. Look at this. Look at this. That's a green and a black wire spliced. Oh, there's all kinds of connectors in here. This whole harness, I can't get you down in there very well. But yeah, something's 
something's big. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> There's a razor blade, too. Need a razor blade. It's sitting right there. Here's somebody... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was either jumping a relay or jumping a fuse using this wire. So uh, just all of these things, you know, taking this all into consideration, I am going to say that even though I've always wanted one, laugh at me if you want to, I don't care. I've always wanted one of these 5 liter Genesis. This one is not for me. Well, you know the routine. We're going to start just kind of wandering around and see what we see. We might even make it over to the motorcycles towards the end of this video. There's that green Corvette. Wait a minute, where'd the hood go? The hood is gone. No way. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Guys, we were out here. We've, we've walked by this thing twice. And the hood has been on it every time. Well, I'm here to tell you, we, we, I told you guys before, we had some tornadoes out here. All right, it was, it was nasty. Like, things out here got really, really bad. We had tornadoes. We had 110 mile an hour straight line winds on top of those tornadoes. So this hood that was barely held on, uh, I'm willing to bet. I'll bet it's somewhere. I'll bet it's somewhere in this yard. That sucker got picked up and carried away. That's what happened to it. Oh, don't. 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 I love these cars. Again, laugh at me if you want to. But I have always loved the Dodge Dart. I know. I know. It's not a great car. It's not reliable. But damn it, I think they look good. I do. I think these cars look slick. And look, sometimes I make fun of people's mods. But this one, I think it looks nice. I think they did a good job with those stripes. Hell, maybe those are factory. It's a 2016 Dodge Dart GT, which means it should have that Turbo 4. Why is this here? It's pretty scraped up on the back. It's got a lot of scuffing and scraping, like something raked up against it. Same here, broken tail, like something. You know what I bet it was? I bet it was the hood to this. I, I would almost, man, I would almost, no, 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 wait a minute. This car was in a tornado. Look, roof shingle. She was in a she was in a tornado. This is only the second car that I've seen at Copart here that was in the tornado, and I've looked at hundreds of cars. Yeah, so something just went all up and down the roof, man. It tore this thing up. There's dirt all up inside of here. Yeah. Still, I don't care. That's cosmetic damage. She's still not a bad looking car. Oh, yeah, I see it all over. I didn't catch that the first time. She's got scrapes all over. Okay. She's not perfect. She smells good, though. A little wear on the seats. I don't know what the mileage is yet. Maybe 120, 130 would be my guess. No, man. It's only got 92,000 on it. Comes with one key. She fired right up. Oh boy, she's got a lot of lights on. Good Lord. Okay. Well, we've got traction control, ABS, check engine, TPMS. Both of the driver's side tires are not showing any pressure at all. And I can feel a, na a nasty vibration. It feels like a motor mount. Definitely feels like a motor mount. Oh yeah, I could feel it. <laughs> Definitely a motor mount. Yeah, there's a lot of movement there. Whole lot of movement there. Let's turn on the air conditioning. Let's see if it works. It should, everything should work on this car. She needs a little bit of maintenance and definitely cosmetically, she's not in the best shape. But, if you could get it for the right price, this is not a bad car. Important window works. So does that one. What is this? Aw. And it comes with this, too. How cool is that? You got the nice touchscreen. I love this touchscreen. 
we'll go ahead and turn that off but you got your controls very very responsive i like that got your books and everything some of them anyway not too shabby let's pop the hood let's pop the trunk too while we're at it you never know what you're gonna find in the trunk air conditioning works it's ice cold oil was getting changed at walmart with mobile one zero w20 so somebody was taking care of the oil in fact it just had an oil change it's not due again till ninety five thousand five sixty nine it's got 92,670. She's got good tires. So she's a little cosmetically challenged. Uh, unfortunately, no spare tire. You can obtain those, though, on the jack and everything. A little cosmetically challenged, but honestly, I think it's still a good-looking car. I'd drive it. I would drive it in a heartbeat. I'd have no issue with it. Definitely do a little work. Uh, figure out what motor mount is causing the problem there and get that taken care of. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Where's the, where's the turbo? This isn't supposed to be a multi-air 2.4. It's supposed to be the little turbo motor and it's not. I guess I was wrong. I was mistaken. Well, I'll be. Look at all the twigs and leaves and stuff. Broken glass from the storm, wood chips. Well, ugh. she's not a bad looking car, guys. I was looking under there, make sure nothing was leaking. I don't see anything leaking. Like I said, a little on the cosmetically challenged side, there will be a little bit of work to be done, like fixing that door handle. But you could, and replacing this taillight, but it's a driver. You could drive it like this, just clean it up and hey, it still looks decent. It's not something you'd be embarrassed to drive, at least I wouldn't. It's got all the modern conveniences like remote start. Hey, it's a big deal, man. I like her. I do. I like her. It's not something that I think is worth putting a bunch of money into trying to fix all the paint and everything and make it look perfect again. But this thing would be great as just a cheap daily driver. All right, moving on down the list. It looks like we might start running into some more tornado cars out here, guys. This is gnarly, man. I can't even walk through there. That thing is smashed so bad. I'm going to walk around it. We'll go take a look at the other side. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, that's... That's... What? You know... I don't even know. Speechless. And I can talk. You know what I mean? Like, I can talk, but this one... Yeah, speechless. I, you know, all, all I can do is, is hope whoever was inside is okay. That's all I can do. And, and, you know, for what good that does, I guess. Good Lord. Yeah, that's, that's tragic. That is tragic. I, I, I hope whoever is in there came out all right, man. That looks real bad. That looks real bad. Okay, well, hold on. All right. Let's lighten the mood a little bit. I, I, I hate running across those, man. It's it's one thing to see a wrecked car. You know, I mean, the, the, the yard's full of them. You know, lots of wrecked cars. It's another when, when you come across something like that. It, 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 I don't know about you guys, but for me, being here, seeing it in person, and realizing this was somebody's life, they got turned upside down, it hurts my heart. I don't even know those people. Like, I don't know those people, but it affects me in a deep way, man. It, it, it really bothers me. But I don't want to make the video negative. I don't want to, you know, but I also don't want to... Anyway, yeah. Okay, let's lighten the mood a little bit. Let's, let's look at a tornado. Does that, does that make the mood better? I, I don't think so. Anyway, we've got a tornado damaged car. I find the tornado damaged car some of my most interesting vehicles. I... I'm intrigued by them. A tornado does not treat all cars the same. Every tornado car is in different shape and you can see different things that happen to it. And it just, it, it leaves you kind of in awe of the power of these storms, man. And Oklahoma is a great place to live because you get to experience so much of this crazy weather and you get to really see the power of mother nature up close and personal. So here we go. 
This one is definitely a tornado car. I've shown you guys this in a different video, but we've got insulation from houses. They look like spitballs. It's just all over it. You've got the, the broken glass, of course, completely shattered, probably lots of junk on the inside, broken window, more spitball looking stuff all over it. And I'm sure you'll find some shingles embedded. Yeah, in fact, there's, oh, there's several roof shingles embedded everywhere here's another one right here man this thing either got thrown around it, it kind of looks like this one did get thrown around or a house got thrown into it a roof something big just demolished this car take a look at all of this damage and all of these windows are shattered all of them back here as well everything of course i don't even know if i can get into this car we can oh wow yeah. So Norman, Oklahoma got hit really hard. I'd be willing to bet that's probably where this one came from. I told you the interior is probably full of stuff. And it is. Broken glass, more roof shingles. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's everywhere. Look at this. Look at all of the house insulation embedded behind the seats in the seat belts. How high those winds had to be to do stuff like this glass everywhere and here's something i'll sit inside of here so i can show it to you but take a look at the headliner grass insulation parts of people's homes the entire headliner is completely covered in somebody's life that's, that's, wow. The dashboard, I can't really get you up there, but there are shingles all over the dashboard too. Look at all of this. Insulation hanging everywhere. Wow. No keys to this one. Um, and not that it really matters, I don't guess. I don't, I don't see this as something that somebody is going to be like, oh, I've got to have that and rebuild it. This, this is done. That's a wrap. I just, I find them interesting. I, I obviously feel bad for the people that are affected. You know, I mean, that should go without saying, but you got to say it, I guess, or people will leave negative comments. I feel bad for the people that have to go through this type of stuff. I understand it's a horrible experience, but at the same time, there really is something that's just fascinating to me about thunderstorms. I was just kind of walking around on my own without you guys. I apologize. And I came across this. And obviously frame damage here. It flattened the front end and then shoved it all the way over to the driver's side. Look how far this sticks out. Yeah, it's slight frame damage on this one, ladies and gentlemen. 2017 GLC 300. Jeez. Ah. Oh, well, I'm not going to mess with it. I don't want to mess up the, the tape. A little bit of damage back here, too. Obviously, this is not one to put back together. This is not one I'm looking at. I just saw it from a distance, and I was like, dude, that thing is gnarly. I wanted to show this one to you. Let's go look at another Mercedes. Next on my list, you guys know I love a good S-Class. Well, here it is, a 2007 S550. And this one's, it's a little unique. I'm not quite sure what happened to this car, but we're gonna take a close look at it and try to figure it out. Obviously, it got hit in the back. That much is apparent, but it's the rest of it that's very, very confusing to me. If you guys see what I'm talking about, drop a comment down below the video and say what it is before we get to it. Uh, I'm sure several of you have already figured it out. All right, let's take a quick look at the interior. This is bizarre, man. This, this is really bizarre. What an interesting damage to this car as well. Sorry guys, if I'm a little tongue twisted, Forgive me, I've been here for four and a half hours and I'm a little thirsty and a little tired from all this walking today. All right, so she was driving when the accident happened. This wasn't tornado damage. 
because the headrest is blown on both sides. So we had people in the front seats. Pre-tensioners are not blown in the back, so I'm assuming people in, there was no people in the back. Somebody, looks like they clipped them right here on this corner, and it took a pretty, pretty gnarly impact. You can see damage to the trunk, the bumper. I'm sure there's underlying damage as well. Gap issues right here, and it's creased right here, which means there might just possibly be some frame damage to this one as well. This is not one I'm going to be interested in bidding on. It's a little too much for what I would want. Um, here's the part that I thought was really interesting. It's got Lionheart tires. Tires have good tread on them, but they're all blown and off the rims. All of them. Every single tire. Explain that one to me. How did that happen? Every tire. Lionheart's on the front too with excellent tread completely off the rim. And it goes all the way around. Look here. Yeah, same thing. And you get to the back. Same thing there as well. All four tires completely off the rim. So it kind of makes you wonder, man, was this uh, speculation, pure speculation, but could this have been an attempted pit maneuver? Could this car have maybe run over spike strips, lost all four tires, and, you know, five O's came up behind it and woo! Now, I would expect if that's what happened, we'd probably see more damage. It would have hit something off the road, flipped over, or something. And I don't see any other damage to this car, which is mind-boggling. This, <laughs> this particular car confuses me. I, I, don't, I just don't understand. If you guys have a theory, well, drop it down below. I'd be very interested to hear what you guys think. Next, we do have some house insulation stuck to the hood. Probably blew off from that car would be my guess. Uh, this is definitely not a storm car. Let's get in it and check it out. I love the S-Class. I do. I love it. And this one's got power. Fired right up. Front right hand side malfunction oh i know that smell yeah i smell marijuana up in here hmm where is it because i smell it i smell it let's take a peek around oh surprisingly there's nothing in here no it's in here somewhere <laughs> there's something in here i smell it Maybe it's an air freshener. It could be a, you know, maybe it's a CBD air freshener, right? Let's check in there. No? I don't know, man. I sure do smell it, though. This is one of those cars you get pulled over. You can bet the cops going to have you get out. They're going to do some looking around. Could be just an air freshener, though. Maybe it is. That seat is leaned all the way back. And we've got airbag obviously right hand side airbag issue next service due in 600 miles only 89,000 miles on the odometer not bad she sounds good i can feel there's a motor mount going out on this one all right this is pretty nice guys this is really nice it's very comfortable Important window. It works. I mean, 89,000 miles, everything should work. Oh, I like this car. Oh, if Monkey Wrench Mike saw this, this would be a good one for him, but I really do. I think there's, I think there's some pretty significant damage back there. Let's see if we can pop. Let's pop that trunk. Maybe we could take a closer look back there and see what's going on. Heated air-conditioned seats. I mean, these things are just... They're a nice place to be, and I'll leave it at that. I can't find the hood popper. Try not to hit any any other cars over here. Where is the hood release? I should know this. I had one of these that was an S63 AMG that I sold to Monkey Wrench Mike. I can't find I can't find the damn hood release. Come on, man. All right, I tried out the aromatic suspension. I told her to raise up, and boy, did she ever raise up quickly. Very nice. The suspension works like it should. Man, I just wonder how bad things are back here. Uh, it's all got... You got to take all this out. You got to take everything out. So... 
Yeah, she's got, uh-oh. She didn't like that, did she? There we go. There it is. Yeah, there's there's a little bit of underlying damage back there. I did figure out how to pop the hood. I knew it was there on there somewhere. I just I just didn't see it. Oh, great. <laughs> well, we're having lots of fun today, aren't we? I got it open, but the piece that pops the hood doesn't work anymore. It's jammed up under here somewhere. There. Yeah, see, it's supposed to be right there. There it is. Well, we fixed it for the next guy, I guess. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it was jammed up under one of these slots, so I had to reach my hand down in there. There's an oil dipstick that's open. She runs good, though. Really, really nice. There's your little battery. She sounds healthy. Let's see if this hood works now. There we go. Yes, it does. All right, like I said, it's fixed for the next guy. When the hood closes, that should get sucked in just like that. Bingo. See, we've already helped somebody out. Let's roll this window up. Express up as well. Air conditioned seats. Oh, this is so nice. I do miss that S63 sometimes. And that thing could do a mean burnout too. I mean, it wasn't meant to do that, but she was good at it. She was real good at it. All right. That's it for the S550. I think we're almost done. Next, I found us a 2011 Ford Expedition. I really love this color. It's like a gold and kind of a brown. I wonder why this one is here. So far, I don't see any damage. The tires are pretty worn. It's definitely going to need some tires soon, but you could drive on them. This is nice. Yeah, it needs tire. It needs tires bad. When I say you can drive on them, I mean you could drive on them. I would not recommend driving on them. They need they need to be replaced. Somebody's got some tape holding on this mirror, so you're going to need a mirror over there. But aside from that, it doesn't look too bad, does it? This is not bad. Well, let's take a peek at the inside and let's see what surprises it holds. We'll start with the back. That tells you, ooh, wow. That tells you a lot about who owned it, is what I was getting ready to say. That's that's literally what I was about to say. Okay, it's covered in mud. Everything in here is covered in mud and dirt. And then we've got some kind of a blue chalk all over the inside there. And it smells... Yeah, it's, it smells. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that, is it smells... Same thing up here, lots of dirt and, and mud. The seat's not too bad though, but the passenger seat is totally destroyed. Doesn't look like there's any power in here either. Oh, no keys. No, come on. Just dirt everywhere, guys. Everywhere. And it smells like it looks. It does, it smells pretty, pretty rough. No keys, no keys, there's no keys. She's got no keys. We'll pop the hood though. Let's see if there's anything under the hood. And it does. Yeah, it's it's the three valve, which I mean, you already knew that. I already knew that, but yeah, it's, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a motor with a reputation, isn't it? When you hear three valve Triton, I don't know. Well, I don't know about you, but for me, I immediately think run away, run, run very fast, run very far away. Now this one I find interesting because it says on the windshield, no key, no odometer, therefore it doesn't run and drive. It's a 2014 Kia, is it called a Cadenza? I don't remember. I had one of these a long time ago. Uh, Cadenza. These are actually pretty nice cars, guys. Very luxurious. I loved my Cadenza. You guys might remember, I picked it up from IAA for next to nothing. It was like an $800 buy it now. It smells good. I'm liking this one. The dat ooh. Well. Okay, you know, it's 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 a little worn. It's a little dirty. Dashboard's got some pretty severe cracking going on. That is so common for a lot of these vehicles. I don't know what they started making their dashboards out of, 
but Nissan did the same thing. Nissan Infinity, their dashboards just fall apart. Uh, Dodge as well. This is pretty dirty. Like this is, this, the rest of the car looks good, but this is a little concerning at, at how nasty this is. Maybe this would clean up some. Oh, wow. Yeah, lots of dead skin and oily residue all over that steering wheel. It's 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 a little uh, it's a little it's a little nasty. Look at this. Look look at how disgusting this is. Oh wow. All right. Dead as a doornail. That's fine. The hood is already popped. She should have a pretty stout little six cylinder under the hood. At least mine did. But mine was a lot older than this one, so they may have gone with a turbo four by now. They did not. That is definitely a six cylinder. And oh boy, she has been overheated, hasn't she? Yep, I'm gonna say this thing got really, really hot. You can see all the white stuff over there. That's blowing out of that hose, blowing all over the firewall and then down. So she got hot. At least that's the way it looks to me. Definitely looks like she got hot. Oh, there's nothing in it. Yeah, she's dead empty. And the oil? <laughs> what do you think? Water in the oil? Yes. Very hard to see. It almost looks good, but it's not. There's water in that oil. That's milkshake. So, should we try to fire it up? I think we should. Let's see what it does. All right, let's see what it does. No key. That's what NK stands for. No odometer. Let's just see. Well, we have lights. The dash, I think, is trying to do something. Ooh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's a wrap. That is a wrap. That is a locked up engine. Yeah, I told you she got hot. But I thought maybe she'd try to crank. Ooh, that got warm too. Yeah, she, <laughs> she is frozen solid, guys. My booster pack doesn't get that hot unless the starter's trying to turn and it's drawing the amperage, but something mechanical is binding up. So I'm gonna say with 100% certainty, this one actually does not run. So here's another tornado car, guys, a Hyundai Elantra. If you're getting tired of the tornado cars, just tell me, and I'll keep that in mind on the next video. But obviously, I mean, parts to houses were all just blowing all over this car. It is scratched deeply, deeply scratched up, man. It's got the insulation blown all over it like we've seen before. And hell, there's even a rock up here, sheetrock. It's got sheetrock up there. The hood is all smashed up and damaged, like something went straight over the top of this car. She is really, really rough, guys. Let's take a peek at the inside, see what it looks like here. The front is not too bad. There's so much broken glass in here. So much broken glass. I mean, guys, the broken glass is all the way up here in the front. All the way in the front. And I think the only broken window on this car is this back window. Yeah. So think about how heavy those winds must be to take that glass and blow it all the way to the front seat. Wow, and again, oh hell, this thing's got heated back seats in an Elantra? Are you kidding? Wow, okay, sorry. I, <laughs> I didn't know that. I did not know that you could get heated rear seats in a Hyundai Elantra. What year is this, a 15? I didn't know that was a thing. I really didn't. So you've got lots of insulation and broken glass blown all up there as well, man. It's it's everywhere. You feel bad for the people that lost their car, but also you got to remember, we're only seeing the car. We don't know what their houses look like. Fires right up. 70,000 miles on the odometer. Only light on the dash is the TPMS light. Engines make a little noise there. I think it'll clear up once the oil pressure builds. 
Maybe not. Well, there's no lights on the dash for oil pressure. You hear that though. Let's pop the hood. Important window works. Like this is another one I think could be fixed cheaply if you can ignore the cosmetic side of it, guys. The, the roof looks good, pillars look good. It's got dings, scratches all over it, but it's a low mileage Hyundai. This thing should last forever. Get a new rear glass put in it. Maybe do a little work to the front end here. The bumper looks like it kind of, yeah. You got a light coming apart there. Hell, if you, if you really have to replace the hood, replace the bumper. These are not expensive components, guys. Uh, it'd make it look 10 times better. Get the interior a good detail. And down the road you go. You've got yourself a car that, unless the engine is not okay, you got a car that'll last forever. And that engine doesn't sound like it's round. That sounds like direct injection to me. That sounds like direct injection. I could be wrong. That doesn't sound like it's actually an internal engine problem to me. This is a good one. This is a good one. Low miles, a good little A to B. I don't know. You hear that? You guys tell me I've owned several of these. I don't recall the engine sounding like that, but I could be wrong. I do remember some of these had like a lifetime or not a lifetime, like a hundred thousand mile warranty on the engines if they started knocking or something because there was an internal problem. So who knows, you might get lucky. I know Austin Carr, he has a salvage Elantra and they warrantied his engine and replaced it with a new one, even though his had previously been salvaged. So, you know, it's a toss of the dice, I guess, whether that's gonna work the same for you or not, but something to think about. And finally, the thumbnail. This one I just kind of happened upon walking by. I saw it and I was like, okay, if, if you find a C7, if you find a Corvette, period, you got to put it on the channel. This is a 2016 Corvette Stingray, just like the one I had. I bought a brand new 2019 Stingray with a seven-speed manual transmission. I put an exhaust on it and I enjoyed it for all of about 160 something miles before it, 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 it went bad. And I ended up fighting General Motors and fighting Bob, who is it, Bob Moore Chevrolet or Bob Howard Chevrolet up in Edmond, I can't remember. Anyway, it was just a nasty deal, nasty deal. And it totally ruined my hopes and dreams for owning a brand new Corvette. It was my, my, my first and only brand new Corvette. And it was kind of a lifetime achievement of mine. It was a dream and it turned into a gnarly nightmare though it was a horrible deal and they ended up trespassing me from the property so that's how they that's how they treated someone that walked in and spent sixty thousand dollars on a granted a stingray is the bottom of the barrel uh budget corvette but still brand new car it was on their showroom floor inside the building and uh i was so happy to have it and it just turned into such a nightmare this well this is dead as a doornail but this is also a manual transmission car. How bad is this to replace? I, 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 these panels just bolt on or they, they're bonded. I see it right there. It's got that panel bond crap. So this took a hit back here. It, it, it doesn't look that bad. It almost looks like you could just throw the bumper back over it and forget about it. Obviously you, you can't do it. I mean, you could, but you've got a giant gaping hole back here. All of this has been completely destroyed from the accident. Probably a little bit of frame damage, maybe, back here. You got some wiring issues right here as well, but it does have this beautiful Corsa exhaust. Uh, you got some work to do back here, guys. Honestly, though, to me, this doesn't look that bad. I just don't know what it takes to rebuild something like this because, you know, I don't do fiberglass or panel bond. I don't know anything about that stuff, guys. I'm used to the old school cars where you just unbolt the bad parts and you bolt new ones on. We've got this giant battery terminal with all of these breakers and fuses and the battery itself took damage as well. Oh, it's cracked down here at the bottom too. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, she's pretty rough guys. The hatch is in pretty bad shape as well. 
the bumper. It comes with it though. It's nice. It comes with it. But yeah, the bumper's destroyed too. Well guys, I was gonna try to get you over to the motorcycles, but it's 4.15. They close at 4.30, so I have to be out of here. Occasionally, I've run a little late and I've been fine, but sometimes you could find yourself locked in here. So definitely wanna get out of here before they shut everything down. Maybe we can get to the motorcycles next week, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Definitely drop a comment down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.